Hugh Christopher Edmund Fernley Whittingstall, born the 14th of January 1965, is an English celebrity chef, television personality, journalist, food writer, and campaigner on food and environmental issues. Known for his Back to Basics philosophy, Fernley Whittingstall is best known for hosting the River Cottage series on the UK television channel Channel 4, in which audiences observe his efforts to become a self-reliant, downshifted farmer in rural England. Fernley Whittingstall feeds himself, his family and friends with locally produced and sourced fruits, vegetables, fish, eggs and meat. Fernley Whittingstall has also become a well-known campaigner on issues related to food production and the environment, such as fisheries management and animal welfare. Early life Born in Hampstead, London to gardener and writer, Jane Fernley Whittingstall, and father, Robert Fernley Whittingstall, Fernley Whittingstall was brought up in Gloucestershire. He was educated at Summer Fields School, Eton College and St. Peter's College, Oxford, where he read philosophy and psychology. Early career After a temporary relocation to Africa, where Fernley Whittingstall was considering a career in wildlife conservation, he returned to England and became a sous chef at the River Café in London. However, he has since revealed that being messy and lacking discipline made him unsuitable for working in the River Café kitchen, but that he regards his time there as a period that helped shape his current career. Following his time at the River Café, Fernley Whittingstall commenced freelance journalism and was published in Punch, The Evening Standard and The Sunday Times. Television shows Cook on the Wild Side Fernley Whittingstall S. Initial television exposure was on Cook on the Wild Side, an exploration of earthy cuisine. The show depicted the celebrity chef's habit of picking up roadkill and eating the hedgerows, which consequently earned him his nickname of Hugh Fearlessly Eats It All. TV dinners Fernley Whittingstall S. Next series was TV Dinners, in which he notoriously flambéed and curate a human placenta to then serve as pâté during one episode. The pâté was much enjoyed by the baby's family and friends. Treats from the Edwardian Country House In 2002 he presented the six-episode series, Treats from the Edwardian Country House. Big Blue UK In August 2015, alongside Lindsay Chapman, he hosted a series of five daily programs on BBC One, linked to three evening programs Big Blue Live. The series concentrated on marine wildlife around the UK coast. River Cottage in 1997, Fernley Whittingstall moved into River Cottage, a former gamekeeper's lodge on the grounds of Slate Manor in Netherbury, Dorset, UK, which he had previously used as a weekend and holiday home. The lodge became the setting for three Channel 4 series, Escape to River Cottage, Return to River Cottage and River Cottage Forever, all directed by Gary John Hughes. He has become an ardent supporter of the organic movement. Beyond River Cottage in 2004 Beyond River Cottage followed Fernley Whittingstall's progress as he set up a new business, River Cottage HQ, on a 44-acre, 180,000 square meters property close to Dottery, near Bridport, Dorset, together with his family. Underpinning his new enterprise is the selling of the produce cultivated on his property at the local marketplace and audience bear witness to the host experiences as a produce seller, while also intermittently receiving the recipe lessons traditionally seen on food shows. The series concludes with a Christmas special in which a feast is brought together, consisting of Hugh's own fattened geese and ducks. As the centerpiece for the feast, a ten-bird roast of medieval origin. The view from River Cottage 
In 2005, a series called The View from River Cottage was produced using extracts from the four previous series, accompanied by newly recorded narration. This was followed by the River Cottage Road Trip Special that consisted of two newly produced one-hour installments. The River Cottage Treatment During 2006, Fernley Whittingstall moved River Cottage HQ from the original barn near Bridport, to its new premises, Park Farm, a 66-acre farm near Uplimi on the West Dorset, East Devon border. A new series called The River Cottage Treatment was filmed there and was broadcast on Channel 4 in November 2006. This premise of this series involved guests described as urban dwellers, fast food lovers and convenient food mongers. To spend a week with the host on the new property, the guests being required to undertake farm duties and to eat according to the River Cottage philosophy. River Cottage, Gone Fishing in 2007, Fernley Whittingstall presented, River Cottage, Gone Fishing, a short series that is the concept's tenth overall, in which he examines some of the lesser-known fish to be caught around the British Isles. River Cottage Seasonal Specials from 2008, Fernley Whittingstall filmed magazine-style food programs, produced at River Cottage HQ, based on the seasonal themes. River Cottage Spring ran from 28 May 2008 to 25 June 2008 on Channel 4 and in one of the episodes, Fernley Whittingstall demonstrated his holistic approach to cooking by slaughtering, preparing and cooking the entirety of a lamb. In late 2008 River Cottage Autumn was broadcast from 16 October to 6 November 2008. In one of the autumnal episodes, Fernley Whittingstall, together with his friend, John, embarks on a mission to catch crustaceans at a nearby beach with the use of pots. The pair seek to catch prawns, crabs and lobsters, in addition to the blue velvet swimming crab that is commonly found at the particular coastal location where they are based. On 19 October 2009, a new series of four episodes aired on Channel 4, River Cottage, Winters on the Way. In one of the episodes from the winter series, Fernley Whittingstall captures, prepares and cooks rabbits that he finds on his property and introduces viewers to a route called Salsify. According to the host, Salsify was popular during the Victorian era. River Cottage Every Day in September 2010, a new series of River Cottage episodes, entitled River Cottage Every Day, commenced. The series encouraged viewers to cook from scratch more frequently and was accompanied by a book of the same name. River Cottage, Veg Every Day In autumn 2011, a new series, River Cottage, Veg Every Day, was launched and is based on Fernley Whittingstall has developed awareness regarding the problematic way in which meat is produced and consumed in the modern era. During the series, the food activist addresses the challenge that he defines in the series. First episode. A whole summer without flesh. Fernley Whittingstall explains further. In the weeks ahead, I'll be expanding my vegetable horizons, seeking out new flavors and textures, and cooking up a whole raft of vegetable dishes with the same excitement and gusto that I've always bestowed on meat and fish. River Cottage, Three Good Things A new series of River Cottage, entitled Three Good Things, aired on Channel 4 in December 2012. Accompanied by a cookbook, the series was based on the notion that a great meal can be prepared from gathering three good ingredients. In the first episode, Fernley Whittingstall uses beetroot, egg and anchovies to make an open sandwich. Fernley Whittingstall also competed against guest chefs in each episode and viewers were also invited to challenge the television host with a superior recipe. Hughes' War on Waste In November 2015, Fernley Whittingstall presented Hughes' War on Waste on BBC One, campaigning against waste by food producers, retailers and consumers. Britain's Fat Fight with Hugh Fernley Whittingstall 
In 2018, he filmed Britain's Fat Fight with Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, where he explored the obesity crisis in Britain, asking food producers, restaurants and the government to confront the crisis. Guest appearances Fernley Whittingstall appeared on the first series of Channel 4. S. The F Word in 2005, advising Gordon Ramsay on the rearing of turkeys at Ramsay's London home, the turkeys are eaten in the last episode of the series. Further appearances on The F Word in 2006 and 2007 involved Fernley Whittingstall advising Ramsay on the rearing of pigs and lambs, respectively. Again, the consumption of the livestock occurs in the last episodes of the series. At the start of 2008, Fernley Whittingstall, along with fellow celebrity chefs Jamie Oliver and Ramsay, was featured in Channel 4's Big Food Fight season. His contribution to the season was Hugh's Chicken Run, which was shown over three consecutive nights. Fernley Whittingstall created three chicken farms in Axminster, one intensive, one commercial free range and the third, a community farm project staffed by volunteers, culminating in a chicken out campaign to encourage the eating of free-range chicken. In 2008, based on the success of the project, further discussion occurred among Channel 4 executives regarding the filming of another season. Fernley Whittingstall then became a permanent team captain, opposing a different guest captain each week, on a food-based panel game, The Big Food Fight, which began on Channel 4 on 8 September 2009. This is not to be confused with the earlier project of the same name. He was a guest on BBC Radio Fa's Desert Island Discs on 31 July 2009. In 2010, Fernley Whittingstall made an appearance on the BBC One comedy panel show, Would I Lie to You? Host, Rob Britton, awarded him the Liar of the Week. Prize, Fernley Whittingstall also appeared on BBC Two's satirical music panel show, Never Mind the Buzzcocks, on an episode recorded in 2008. Airing was delayed until 19 January 2011, due to the scandals surrounding Russell Brand that led to his resignation from the BBC. Writing Fernley Whittingstall published Cuisine Bon Marché in 1994. Fernley Whittingstall wrote the cookbooks, The River Cottage Year, The River Cottage Fish Book, The River Cottage Cookbook, winner of the Andre Simon Food Book of the Year Award, the Guild of Food Writers Michael Smith Award, and the Glenfiddich Trophy and Food Book of the Year, and the River Cottage Meat Book, the last two books with photographs by Simon Wheeler. His most recent book, published on 29 March 2011, is River Cottage Every Day. He has written articles for The Guardian and The Observer since 2001. A collection of his short articles was published in October 2006 under the title Hugh Fearlessly Eats It All, Dispatches from the Gastronomic Frontline. He edited The Big Bento Box of Unuseless Japanese Inventions, written by Kenji Kawakami. Activism in January 2008, Fernley Whittingstall called on hospitality and food service operators to use less intensively farmed chicken. It's one thing to challenge individual consumers to give up intensively reared chicken but it's also an issue where anyone in the business of selling chicken has to take a stand. In some cases I know chefs, not naming names, at the very high-end sector who are not using free-range birds. Some of them are on the road to Michelin stars. In 2012, Fernley Whittingstall filmed for a Channel 4 series, Hugh's Fish Fight. The series was broadcast in three parts on Channel 4. The campaign S website claimed to have received over 700,000 signatures by 2012. In November 2015, he filmed Hugh's War on Waste with the BBC and began a campaign to reduce consumer waste in the UK. The two programs focused on food and clothing waste, both by supermarkets and by shoppers in their own homes. In 2018, he filmed Britain's Fat Fight with Hugh Fernley Whittingstall, where he explored the obesity crisis in Britain, asking food producers, restaurants and the government to confront the crisis. Other projects Fernley Whittingstall helped develop Stinger, a nettle-flavored ale, with the Hall and Woodhouse Brewery. Another Fernley Whittingstall project was the conversion of an old inn in Axminster to an organic produce shop and canteen which opened in September 2007. 
In 2009, Hugh became a patron of Child Hope UK, an international child protection charity working in Africa, Asia, and South America. In 2009, the River Cottage Summers Here program promoted the Landshare project that seeks to bring together people who wish to grow fruit and vegetables, but have no land, with landowners willing to donate spare land for cultivation. The online project was commissioned by Channel 4. Personal life He is married with four children. Fernley Whittingstall also runs the River Cottage Canteen in Delhi in the center of Axminster and, in 2011, launched a second River Cottage Canteen in Delhi in Plymouth and a third in Winchester. He supports the Green Party of England and Wales. In 2012, a barn at River Cottage was damaged by fire. Published works Fernley Whittingstall has published the following books, TV Dinners, In Search of Exciting Home Cooking, 1996, A Cook on the Wild Side, A Channel 4 Book, 1997, The Best of TV Dinners, 1999, The River Cottage Cookbook, 2001, The River Cottage Year, 2003, The River Cottage Meat Book, 2004, Preserved, with Nick Sandler and Johnny Acton, 2004, The Real Good Life, A Practical Guide to a Healthy, Organic Lifestyle, with the Soil Association, 2000. 5, Soup Kitchen, with Thomasina Mears, and Annabelle Buckingham, 2005, The River Cottage Family Cookbook, with Fizz Carr, 2005, Hugh Fearlessly Eats It All, Dispatches from the Gastronomic Front Line, 2006, Little Book of Soup, with Thomasina Mears, Annabelle Buckingham, 2006, The Taste of Britain, with Laura Mason, and Catherine Brown, 2006, The River Cottage Diary, 2008, 2007, The River Cottage Fish Book, with Nick Fisher, 2007, River Cottage Diary, 2010, 2009, River Cottage Every Day, 2009, The River Cottage Bread Handbook, U.S. Version, with Daniel Stevens, 2010, The River Cottage Preserves Handbook, with Pam Corbin, 2010, River Cottage Veg Every Day, 2011, Three Good Things on a Plate, 2012, River Cottage Fruit Every Day, 2013, River Cottage Light and Easy, Healthy Recipes for Every Day, 2014, River Cottage Love Your Leftovers, Recipes for the Resourceful Cook, 2015, River Cottage Much More Veg, 2017, references external links The River Cottage website containing recipes, news and features Hughes Fish Fight Campaign website Chicken Out, Campaign website The transcript of a live webchat The Village of Thorncombe in Dorset Hugh Fernley Whittingstall on IMDb Channel 4 Land Share Project.